second attack button. Smart strike at the 721 culture. Should be figured out by now that you won't come up on our computers and inspire Misty. And I was wondering when did you plan on interviewing the writing of the shop selling your own? Oh, that's fantastic. So listen, when can I come down? Is Monday or Tuesday at 4 o'clock better for you? I'll see you Monday. Sounds good. Talk to you then. Woo! Yeah. All right. It's in the wheel. Oh! Yeah, oh. it out. <laughs> Congrats. Right. Woo! Whoa. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the C21 Culture Show. Um, we're live from Covina. There you go, it signifies the start. All right, all right. Um, as always in studio, we have our video and audio engineer, Karina. Yeah. Our resident expert and co-host, Greg Rodriguez. Working hard for the money. Yeah. Working hard for the money all the way, every day. And, uh, and I'm, I'm your producer, another co-host, Martin Cabrera. Um, so Greg, I mean, you must be, I mean, everyone here must be wondering what that whole skit was about. Do you, would you mind? Uh, explaining what that was. Yeah, and it's about creating opportunities. Uh, Tuesday night, 5.30 to 7 here at Century 21 Culture in a great office, great environment. Uh, come on down, join us, have some food, have some fun, but most importantly, give yourself an opportunity to create new business for yourself. Um, pick up the phone, dial, and, and let's do it. We can all do it together. Yeah, come on. I mean, speaking of cold, spring just started, but it's gonna rain today. What's up with that? Hey, I bring it on. Bring me the rain, bring me the storm, bring me the storm, the, the, the snow. I'm gonna make it happen. Well, hey, I was actually gonna ask you, can you can you spin that? It's it's spring, but it's about to rain. What does that mean? Hey, I have I have my bounce in the rain all the time. I have my spring in the rain. <laughs> all right. I got the rainbow going on. <laughs> let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's just get down to it. All right. Let's do it. Elite eight. We started with 24 an hour. We were down to the elite eight last week, and now it's gonna be the final four. Yeah, that's exciting to see the the, the progress that everybody has made. Even those that, even those that have, have fallen off. Um, everybody is uh, just continuing to do their thing, and it, it's been fun, really fun. Oh, forgot to show the slide. Just for if, if you guys need, some, need more information, follow follow our Facebook page, C21 Culture, um, for more updates. Anyways, getting down to it. This is what the bracket looked like. Um, man, a lot of X's. A lot of X's, yeah. Well, that's part of the process, right? Yeah. It's part of the process. All right, here we go. Elite 8 results. So our first matchup... And if you guys remember, we had to shuffle some things around. So we had Guadalupe and Ashton going. Um, they actually got eliminated in the Sweet 16 round, but they're back. Yeah, that's exciting. They, yeah. We always have a chance. Tomorrow's a new day. We could always bounce back. Yeah, so this one was interesting. Um, they both had two listings. And as we know, the listings are, they're only one point, but those are the things that can really make a difference in the end, right? Because those can move on and make points. But Absolutely. Guadalupe took this one. I mean, and, and it kind of sucks because it was a quiet week. Um, they both had the listings, but it didn't turn into anything last week. I mean, so what, what, what can you say to these two? They didn't get anything last week, but what's the positive? Well, they did. It's, it's the listings. Now we just have to wait, right? It's like putting something in the hopper. Uh, you do the activities, you get the listings, and, and tomorrow that might turn into a, a, a pending, which can, you know, who knows, a cash buyer can come in and, and it's a closing for, for additional points. That's true. All right, so in our next matchup, we had Aaron Rivas versus Ron Strawski. This was uh, going to be an interesting one because we know that they had stuff in the pipeline that, that potentially could have gone down last week. Um, unfortunately, they didn't. For either of them, they had stuff in the pipeline, but none of them materialized into something. So, I mean, Aaron won just by, just by nature of him having more points. Um, I mean... Can you speak about how dangerous these two are for the MVP? Well, it is because they, they've, uh, you know, while things didn't materialize, they put more things in the hopper again, if you will, in terms of listings. And we already know, uh, being here at the office, that they, those things have actually materialized moving forward to this new week coming up. So it's, it's, it's going to be a heated battle because uh, we, we, we know that there's points that are being put on the board. So yeah. it's exciting. And it's scary for whoever Aaron's facing next because, I mean, the, 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 the points gonna, are high. They're going to drop. They're going to drop this week. <laughs> Next, we had uh, Brenda versus Yvette. This is a, like a powerhouse um, matchup right here. 
right? Absolutely. Well, they're both doing fantastic, right? They're 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 on their game, and they're everybody. You know, overall, it's been uh, exciting to see everybody get into the environment of the game, participate. And I think everybody's benefiting from it, and uh, it's good things are happening. Yeah, let's see who won. We had Brenda winning. And yep. what was interesting is, um, Karen and Vet, they, they got a couple more escrows, I think, last week, but Brenda came through with the close. She closed. She's a closer. I mean, what can hey, you say? Hey, hey, the closers, right? Uh, what's that book, Relentless uh, Grover? Cleaners, right? There we go. The cleaners, yeah. Yep, so I mean, unfortunately for a vet, she's on fire, but. She's totally not out of it. She can still win MVP. Well, that's exciting. Okay. Everybody has a second chance to get back in there and let the points that they put in uh, materialize into bigger points. So, again, next week, who knows? Everything mm -hmm. changes week to week. Yep. All right, and our, our last Elite Eight matchup, we have uh, we had Kerry versus Belen. And um, obviously, we already talked about Kerry, but Belen really impressed us last week. Do you, I mean, we have some high expectations for her, right, in this Elite Eight round? Well, I just got off the phone with Belen. Right? She was at a listing appointment taking a listing. So the points keep coming. And uh, I mean, I'm telling you, as we get closer, what is it, next week, the final four? Oh, this, um, is this, this week is the final four. This is four. the final four, yeah. So yeah. it's going to be interesting next week because I, I'm getting the calls. And like I said, I got off the phone with uh, Belen. Uh -huh. And uh, I know she's getting points. She's All signing right. deals. So Kerry won that one because sure. he, I mean, like I already said, they got – more in escrow and um, Belen's big points were the week before. So unfortunately for her, they didn't happen this week. But um, but we know she's going to be in it till the end. Yeah, listen, I don't see it as unfortunate. I see it as part of the process, and everybody's got a shot. Mm -hmm. Kerry took it this week. Uh, I, I'm signing the, the authorizations left and right. I mean, he's on his yeah. game, right? He's in total yeah. control, and I you know I look forward to uh, the the finale here. Yeah, me too. I think I think everyone is really hyped for what's gonna happen in the end because it's it's getting down to the wire. So I mean, let's let's uh, check the MVP leaderboard. As you can see, it's it's really different. First thing to note here is last week Belen was was a uh, bottom five. Was at the bottom of the top five. Now she's at top. And one thing we forgot to talk about was double ending, right? Double ending. She she scored big. Uh, you know, selling her own listing. Yep. And uh, hey, the, the points accumulate. Yeah, so that's that's an important thing for you guys to know. The agents who are, who are um, actually everyone's left in the tournament, so it's important for you guys to know that you get double points when it, when you when you double end it. You Super, know, when that's you, right. Yes, right. Yeah, double ender. Always, yeah. Both buyer and seller. So she's at the top. She's out of the tournament, but she's at the top. Yeah. Well, the MVP, right? And I think I think it's exciting. Uh, the MVP winner. We talked about it because the, the MVP is really an accumulation of overall points. Uh, yeah. We have the bracket system, which does what it does at, at, at the professional level, if you will, uh, of the game. And we have the MVP, which is an accumulation of all the points yeah. uh, from start to finish. So you know, those are going to be two very strong winners. Yeah. And um, another thing to note from this is everyone here in the top five basically has stuff in the – well, these, top, these bottom three have stuff in the pipeline. So that's definitely not going to be their final number. Absolutely not. I mean, we already know – Again, you know, we're we're privileged to have information. We already know. Yeah. Two for coming in, so <laughs> hurry up, people. <laughs> yep. I mean, you saw Guadalupe with those listings. Yeah. Well, Luma was playing Alicia Keys earlier. This girl's on fire. So she's on fire. She's getting yeah. her stuff going on. <laughs> yep. All right. So we don't we don't have any. We don't, unfortunately, we don't have any highlights for this week. Um, we didn't get those for you, but we do have some more highlights. We have some new agents. Joining us. Absolutely. Let's walk. Or they not joining us. They are here already. They're part of our culture. So let's uh this is this is our one of our new agents, Javier. Let's check out what he had to say. I've been a realtor for about twenty five years. I like the job of uh, selling homes. I'm really into the design of homes and most importantly I like it because I wanna help people. Uh, I like to stick to the basics. Hands on with people, just meeting them face to face, uh, keep them important, and just honesty is the best thing. So, I just think that sometimes when you have bad news or you have good news, yeah, I kind of like that as a graphic. Yeah. I, I, I happened to move to West Covina, and when I interviewed with the management here, they were really excited, and uh, I felt it was uh, the right office for me. I just felt it. All 
All right, man, some great words from Javier. Hey, he's gonna be a, a new contestant next year's March Madness. What are you looking forward to? Listen, uh, so far all he's showed is uh, tenacity. From day one, he's jumped out there he's, he, and he's doing it. So it's gonna be exciting to have another player. Cool. What does he bring to the office? Uh, you know, he brings uh, consistency. He, you know, he's here when he's supposed to be here and he's, he's doing the activities. And I think we can all learn from each other. Uh, we all have something to add to the mix and we have to be open to learning from everyone. Cool. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's watch our, our other Asian that joined us. Um, we have George. Let's see what he had to say. But a little bit of Wi-Fi, internet connectivity problems. Do, 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 do. There you go. go. All right. Um, my volume is a realtor, a customer service, and honesty. I've actually been a tattoo artist for the past ten years, and seeing that that I was in a service kind of uh, industry. I think helping people find what they want, even though when they're not too strong what it is, just walking in here is just the, the vibe is completely different. It's so much nicer. And it's the same time, they have someone taking care of media that I've never seen them. Any other business just have someone dedicated to marketing through social platforms. And then when I spoke to Greg, you know the questions he asked, it's kind of checked out with me and I said, this is a good place to meet up. When my parents turned timers, they were way too large. So they sacrificed everything they had for me, pretty much. So I think I have to repay that for that. Man, can you talk about the drive of millennials knowing where their parents came from and that inspiring them? I mean, this is the, the millennials are a big group to contend with. Uh, until the millennials, we had the baby boomers, were, which were the biggest group. And by, by far, the millennials are, are um, the group that we, that we contend now. They're brilliant people. Uh, they, they have a great set of values. Uh, they, they are engaging people. They're looking for relationship and value. That's really what I admire about that group. Uh, well, what are you excited about George joining this office? Well, George is interesting. I mean, he's a tattoo artist, right? So he's, yeah. he, he comes with this uh, d detailed mindset already. And um, he's back there right now, and we're, we're talking. He's following the game plan. So uh, it's exciting to have somebody with, with the skill set, uh, like a tattoo artistry, and translate that into real estate. Yeah, that's really exciting. I think it, it brings a whole creative mindset to Absolutely. his marketing and everything. I like that. Absolutely. All right, let's check out. Um, let's get down to our final four preview. This is uh, this is the best of the best, right? The best of the best. All right, here we got we got Carrie versus Guadalupe. Who? I mean, based just based on seating alone, do you think Guadalupe would be here at this point? Everybody has a shot, right? If we wake up in the morning and, and do what we say we have to do, we, we have a shot, right? And we can accomplish anything. I'm a believer of that. Uh -huh. uh, it, you know, it doesn't matter where you start. If you put in you know, the, the, the work ethic and the, and the effort, you can take it all away. What's important for both of these oh, individually? What, what do they have to do this week? Well, listen, I think the message for both is the same, right? They, they, they know what their game plan is, and they just have to follow it at a very high level, yeah. and they're going to get the results that they want. Cool. All right, that's going to be really interesting to follow. I know that they have stuff going on this week already. Absolutely. So, cool. Man, that's why they're there in the Final Four. And uh, our other Final Four matchup, we have Aaron Rivas versus Brenda. These are our two top producers. Two I mean, top producers, that's right. They're expected to be here, right? Absolutely, no doubt. I mean, this is not a surprise. I mean, uh, so I mean, what can you say about just these two going to head-to-head? -head? Are, are, do they inspire more competition between each other? I think we all do. I mean, we, we, uh, we have to follow our own game plan uh, and, and be relentless with what we say we're going to do. Yeah, but again, you know, the, these two, they're, they're fierce competitors, top producers, they know what they have to do to take it to the next level. And, and it's going to happen. And you love Lost between these two? No, this, this is a family environment. I, I think we all support each other yeah. uh, in a competitive environment. And uh, we'll, I look forward to next week. Cool. I, I mean, Speaking about Aaron, I think we have him in studio. All right, all right. Hey, why don't we bring on Aaron? Aaron, get over here. Aaron, join us. Um, let me move this out of the way. All right. Just right here? Yeah, I think right, right there all is right. good. Sounds good. Thank you for having me. Greg? All right. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, Aaron, so <clears throat> you're a top producer, so I mean, a lot of a lot of us here kind of expect you to be here, but did, did, that, did that add any pressure to you during this tournament? At any pressure, it's always fun when there's competition, right? Kicks up the the energy, and uh, so did it cause any pressure? Maybe some good pressure. There you go. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That's right. What did you do to get to this point? 
What did I do? Well, I took a lot of uh, my broker's advice. <laughs> right. uh, you know, one of the things that I always remember uh, that he always says is do what, you're say what you say you're gonna do. So we uh, have a meeting that we uh, meet up with uh, once a week and we set out our goals on based on what our activities are. And uh, following through with those activities has really shown uh, for me personally in my eyes that uh, it produces results. Cool. I'm, so you're facing off against Brenda this week. I mean, what? Can you talk about her strengths and what you're worried most about this round? Brenda, well, she's a complete professional, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, what am I worried about? Well, she's she's just as consistent, if not as uh, uh, more consistent as a lot of people that I know. So I know that I got to constantly be out there working, talking to people, uh, following up with leads. What am I worried about? Uh, you know, she's, she's quiet and uh, she's a quiet killer. That's what I'm worried about. So I don't know what's going on. All you see her is come into the office and pick up paychecks. So, yeah, I guess that that in itself. Cool. Greg, you want to add anything? Question. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, going back to you know feeding off of Aaron, uh, it's it's good pressure. It's good pressure, and they they're both very skillful individuals uh, within their own game plan. And I, I think they're both following uh, you know respectively what they say they're gonna you know follow through with. I'm excited. I mean, I, I feel, I see the energy. I feel the energy, and this is this has been an, an incredible uh, experience to, to have you set this up. It's been fantastic. yeah, it's been it's been yeah. awesome. It's it's a lot better than I expected. I expected a lot. But uh, Aaron, <laughs> what's your game plan for this week? Anything you're gonna change up the game plan? Or you're gonna go with what you know. You know what? I'm gonna stick with what I've been doing because it's been showing some good results. Uh, I got some good things in the pipe that hopefully before the week is up, uh, we've got some new listings on. Uh, to present to the office and put up on the board. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So if you win this round, how are you going to celebrate? How am I going to celebrate? Wow. Whew. Well, we're all going somewhere. <laughs> there we go. That's right. That's right. We're all going to, and we're going to hang out and do some stuff. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to take the wife out. <laughs> cool. Do you hear that, Brenda? He's going to celebrate on on your behalf. <laughs> so, all right. Hey, Aaron. Thank Thanks you for joining us. Thanks, Greg. All right. Good luck in the next round. Thank you. All right. So. Um, I think that's going to conclude our show for that's today. That's good. Yeah, great show. I mean, what are you looking forward to for next week? Anything cool? Results. I'm looking for the results and see how it stacks up at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah it's fun. Looking forward to it. All right, cool. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're here live on Tuesdays every 12 uh, at noon every week. And uh, here we go. <laughs>